Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Arthur B. Hertley House located in the Chicago suburb of Oak Park, Illinois, United States. The house was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and constructed in 1902. The Hertley House is considered one of the earliest examples of a Frank Lloyd Wright house in full prairie style. The Hurley House is one of Wright's earliest fully mature prairie style houses and the patterns that he established with the home would eventually appear in many of his greatest works in that genre. Exterior emphasis is on the horizontal with strong detail in the wooden siding and high bands of windows. The roof is low pitched and features broad eaves. Terraces and balconies bring outside living easily to the occupants. The home is entered through a grade level front door into a deeply colored low ceilinged entry hall. Major spaces are raised above the surrounding grounds and climbing the stairs to the upper level thrusts one into areas featuring soaring ceilings with trim echoing roof forms. The transition emphasizes leaving the outside world behind by ascending the stairs. Fireplaces symbolizing hearth and home are centralized in the middle of the structure. The house uncommonly in the United States has its private spaces on the lower floor and public rooms on the second floor. Except for several small stucco panels, the Hurtley house is built of brick and concrete. A low hip roof covers the entire structure. The house is firmly anchored to the ground with a concrete water table used even for the little prow shaped wall that protects the entrance. Two shades of brown brick are stacked in alternating courses. The mortar used in the vertical joints between the bricks is the same color as the brick, permitting the eye to scan the surface horizontally without interruption. The house has no downspouts, which would have added a discordant vertical element. The rainwater simply pours from the gutters to ground drains. Long bands of art glass heighten the horizontal effect, as does the low wall that extends the composition south to the lat line. The chimney, very low and wide, uses the same brick as the house. Behind the almost continuous bands of casement windows of the second floor and securely sheltered from the elements by the deep soffits of the vast hip roof are the main elements of the house. On the left is the dining room, in the middle the living room, and on the right a porch that originally was open. At the rear of the house on the same floor are the bedrooms. Besides its highly compact form, the house is especially distinguished by its variegated brickwork which gives to the lower walls an organic roughness of texture and vibrancy of color that effectively relates the house to its natural surroundings. By continuing the brickwork to the south of the house as a low wall, Wright further emphasized this intended organic embrace of house and grounds. In the Hartley House, more than in many other Wright houses, the feeling of openness is deeply contrasted with a feeling of shelter. The house is contained within a very dense rectangular volume, and yet the interior spaces are allowed to rotate and interlock in a dynamic manner within the strict confines of the heavy brick walls. The energetic spaces flow around the solid sanctuary of overscaled dominant central fireplaces, creating a sense of interior refuge. In the living room fireplace zone, the contrast between openness and shelter is particularly evident. The area is held down by low ceiling edges, creating an enveloping enclave. The center of the ceiling space forward of the zone releases high up to the interior of the single sheltering roof for a powerful effect. The feeling of shelter is further reinforced by the central placement of the fireplaces. The presence of the ingle nook seating area in the living room, the dim light of the cave-like interior spaces found on the ground level, and the protective masonry porches and balconies. 
Additionally, the elaborate path leading up to the deep low arch of the entry portal is reminiscent of the long and deliberately roundabout paths found leading up to the mouths of hidden prehistoric caves. The house was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places when it was designated a National Historic Landmark on February 16, 2000.